Hey, hello again. This is Charlie Houck, president and founder of Growth Dynamics, uh, offering up another Fast Tip Friday for all our uh, social media followers. Hey, look, this is an issue, and I admit uh, before I start, it may make a lot of you uncomfortable depending on where you are, who you are, how you feel about your job, but more importantly, how you feel about the income that you're making. So I, I really want to talk about the idea of compensation and the, uh, and the concepts around what you need to do to get paid more. So there are a lot of people that Growth Dynamics interacts with that are in sales and business development roles. And we work with the entire company. We work with the leadership on the senior side from the owners, sales management, down to the people on the street that are out there hustling to sell product and services. And it seems that this issue is all over the place right now. Um, no matter what industry, what marketplace, no matter what kind of sales, it's a big issue. But for those of you that are, let's just say dissatisfied with the money that you're making, let's talk about that for a minute. Your companies would like you to make more money. I haven't met a company that's really truthfully saying, no, no more pay, no raises, no opportunity for growth, at least not the companies that I work with. And maybe that says something about the type of companies that hire growth dynamics. But most of the companies that I encounter would like to have high performing, well compensated business development people. And if you're one of those people that lives in uh, has to manage yourself through a performance-based compensation plan, there are a couple things I'd like to share with you in particular today. One, if you want to earn more, act like you're worth more. Now, I know in every organization there are people that are at one end of the pay scale and there are salespeople that are at the other end of the pay scale. And there are exceptions to every rule, but the rule I think you should think about is the people that do more tend to earn more. So whatever it is that you can do in your job, you should think about what am I not doing that the people that are making more money are doing? And what am I willing to do to do more of the things that the high performers are doing that I haven't made a commitment to do yet? So the idea of how you get a raise is one of self-responsibility and telling yourself the truth. I don't say you're not working hard. I don't say you shouldn't get more money. I don't say that everything's fair and equitable. But I will say that over my 34 years as a sales and business development consultant, typically there is a truth. The people that do more, earn more. The people that act like they're worth more, typically do the things that get paid more. So if you would like to give yourself a raise, it's a pretty simple equation. Raise your level of performance, raise your level of commitment, raise your level of discipline, raise your level of professional skill and competence, and raise your personal understanding of what you believe you're worth and how you can prove it to the people that are writing your paycheck every pay period. The future is yours to create, not something that happens by accident unless you let it. So in short, if you want to earn more, do the things that are worth more. It's entirely up to you. I know it's a tough message this week, but the marketplace will find you if you're one of those people and you can be rewarded if you prove that you'll do what it takes to be the best in your business. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Have a great rest of the week and go on out there and make money. Take care.